fox pups arrive at N.S. Animal Rehab Center. Spring is normally a busy time of year at animal rehabilitation centers, and that holds true at Hope for Wildlife in Seaforth, N.S. Four fox pups are the first babies to arrive, and the center is preparing for many more. The siblings are estimated to be three weeks old, and hand-feeding them is a must to build their strength. They'll actually be off of that in about a week, and they start bowl feeding, says wildlife rehabilitator Jasmine Callum. Once they start bowl feeding, it's really wonderful, because they're eating on their own, and we won't have to handle them at all, and they become really independent. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. The center's director says homeowners can expect to see foxes closer to their homes this time of year. I've had reports where a fox will come right in under your front deck, said Hope Swinimer. They do that to protect their pups from predators like coyotes. The move is usually temporary, and once the pups are older, the foxes will leave. In the spring, Swinimer estimates the center gets hundreds of calls a week about animals moving into residential areas. It is the time of year when all the babies are being born. So one of the worst things you can do is trap and remove them. And it's not just foxes. There's lots of raccoons in people's sheds this time of year, squirrels, fawns, all that kind of thing you're going to notice, Swinimer says. If you do see babies around your property that appears to be without a parent, Swinimer says it's best to observe them for a while before stepping in to help. The mom is responsible for going out and getting all the food and bringing it back to the little pups, so she might be gone for periods of time, so that is normal. If she's gone for over 24 hours, you can certainly call Hope for Wildlife and we can give you some advice, or we can go and check it out. She says fox pups are usually the first to arrive at the shelter each year. Unfortunately, Swinimer expects a lot more of them as well as squirrels, groundhogs and other baby animals to arrive. Her team anticipates being able to release the fox pups into the wild sometime mid-summer.